Hi, my name is Frank Schaefer, and my father, Francis Schaefer, was one of the people instrumental in forming the religious right back in the 70s and 80s. And I remember after he met his friend, evangelist Billy Graham, once saying to me, boy, weren't we lucky that we weren't close to the Nixon White House? This came when my father was close to the Ford White House. In fact, my parents used to stay there with the Fords, and Mike Ford, the Ford president's uh, son used to live in our house, actually lived with us for about a year, and his wife Gail used to babysit my daughter Jessica. This is kind of a preamble to note something, and what better place to do that than sitting at my kitchen table? And that is that, yes, there is a lot to panic about with the Trump presidency. Yes, we are in deep trouble. Yes, he is attacking democracy directly by questioning the democratic process. For instance, saying that the recounts, which are perfectly normal, and are tipping in some cases in the Democrats' favor are rigged or that it's all a conspiracy. Yes, he's crazy. Yes, he couldn't be worse. But I was just watching the entire series on Vietnam by the brilliant master artist and filmmaker Ken Burns. I had kind of delayed seeing it because that's my generation and it would be hard to relive it. But in watching that, it brought up a point very vividly to me. We have seen worse and survived. And I've done a lot of videos talking about how bad Donald Trump is, and he's terrible. But Richard Nixon was worse. You know, Trump's presidency has led to bombs being sent to Democratic leaders and Jews shot down in a temple by enraged and off-the-wall white supremacist Americans who have been given a bunch of dog whistles saying what they think and do is okay. But Richard Nixon was part of a process going back all the way to Truman that got us into Vietnam. We killed 50,000 plus Americans for no reason. Richard Nixon not only subverted democracy, he had thieves breaking into the Watergate complex to take our papers. And before that, attempting to crack safes in places like the Rand Corporation to get hold of papers that he found intimidating and threatening. We were in the hands of a real criminal conspiracy, not just an inept fool, con artist, mobster like Trump, and we survived. So I just want to say this to people who watch what I have to say. We have had worse, we have triumphed. Hang in there, fight on, resist, organize. Head into 2020 with confidence that the American people have not all sold out to the NRA and to white evangelical theocrats who want to turn our country into a kind of a handmaid's tale, hell on earth. We survived a worst era, 1968, Kent State, students shot down in cold blood. American service people like my Marine son who fought in Afghanistan sent to a war where they were killed for no reason. They were killed for the ego of a president. Two presidents, Johnson and Nixon, who could not figure out how to get us out without losing face. The ego of presidents killed 50,000 Americans. We're not there. We're in a better place. There is hope. Do not give up. Hang in there. Resist. We can survive this. We survived Vietnam that turned into a kind of a civil war in this country. And we went forward. The scars of that time are still with us and are now shaping the Trump era. But we got there, and we can do it again. So hang in there. We need you now. Don't give up. There is hope. It's going to turn out all right, as long as you fight on, organize, resist, and vote. Thank you. My name is Frank Schaefer.